Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Samuel Sarpong of East Hartford. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that the grace of God has located you once again this morning and that you are being blessed by these devotionals that we've been sharing. I pray that God Almighty will cause you to experience His love, His mercy in a dimension that you have never seen. And in the past couple of days, we've been talking about putting our hope in God. It is important to put our hope in God in times like these. Everywhere you turn, there are news of um, uh, perplexity. There are all kinds of things going around. But please, I want to encourage you that don't keep your eyes on any of those, but keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. I want to read something to you from Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing in instant in prayer. Hallelujah. Continuing in prayer. Don't give up. Keep pressing on in Jesus' mighty name. And this morning, I continue with our teaching. I continue with our devotional, uh, the reasons why you must put our hope in God, or the reasons why you must put your hope in God. And uh, the number six reason why you must put your hope in God is because God cares for you. There is absolutely no doubt that God cares for you. The Bible says that he knows the number of hairs on your head. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, the Bible says, Casting all your cares upon him. Casting all, not some of your cares, but all of your cares. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Put your cares on him. Cast it upon him, for he cares for you. You see, you must put your hope in God because God is interested in your welfare and in your well-being. God is interested in you doing well. God is interested in you coming out of this situation that you find yourself in. God is interested in working with you so that victory is assured. For the Bible says that we are more than conquerors. 1 Peter 5, 7, and then Psalm 55, verse 22, the Bible says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord. Don't cast your burden upon a man, but cast your burdens upon the Lord. Why should we cast our burdens upon the Lord? We must cast our burdens upon the Lord because the Bible says in Psalm 55, verse 22, that he shall sustain us. He shall never suffer the righteous to be removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cast your cares upon him. Put your troubles upon him. For he has promised that he will never fail. This is the God that you serve. He is not man that he should lie. When he promises something, he is able to cause those things to happen. May God bless you today. May God cause his face to shine upon you as you totally yield on him, as you totally trust him, and do not lean on your own understanding. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. God wants to bless you. God wants to walk with you. Even in the midst of the storm, he promises to be with you. I pray that there will be peace in the valley. I pray that in the midst of the storm, that there will be peace. And at the end, you will emerge as a victor, not as a victim. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. You've been listening to Pastor Samuel Sarpong of East Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.